All right, so we're about a month away now from some fish shows, and then, you know, a few weeks of action, and then pff, they're going to be gone again. I'm getting started at Northerly there in Chicago, and then, I don't know, do you really, I don't know if I count Dick's as part of the rest of the summer. It's kind of like its own thing there. You know, almost a month in between the last MSG show and Dick's, and September, is that, that's not, that's certainly, it's just not summer anymore, all right? It's September 1st, it's Labor Day, but in, we'll, we'll talk about Dick's later, I suppose. Oh, great. Sean Kaiser and the Browns just went live on Periscope. Sweet. Why the fuck do I still get Periscope notifications? How, and why are the Browns still using Periscope? But anyhow, where were we? We were at Northerly Island. You know, once again, kind of like last fall, it just sort of works out that um, the first couple of shows, you know, are ones that just sort of like, damn, I can make it to those, and the rest of them, not so much, so... Last year in Charleston, I was kind of concerned about that. Like, ah, oh, man, the first couple of shows of tour. You know, they're all, they're just all right fish shows. Not going to be the most memorable thing. I don't remember. I just remember they opened up with Petricker in Charleston, and that pretty much set the tone for the weekend. There's a nice timber in there somewhere. I believe I got me a Wolfman's, I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember much at all from that, those shows, actually. Other shows, however, I still remember very well. So then that, that's my concern with that Sunday in Chicago. Maybe getting a couple of nights under their belt. You know, sort of a, a couple of practice nights. I hate to refer to actual shows as practice, but it's sort of how it feels at times starting out. So maybe by that third night, that Sunday show. You know, although I did, I don't know if you saw or not, but I've already run into a problem. The Game of Thrones premiere that night. A few people suggested DVR. Thanks for that, man. I never thought about that. Great suggestion on the DVR. Fucks. So then, you know, after the three nights in Chicago, we get a night off, and then they're coming to Dayton, Ohio's Nutter Center. Third time coming to the Nutter Center. With almost 20 years in between the second and third visits, but we'll take it. Better late than never. Now, you probably aren't going to be able to listen to a fucking word I say that night. You know, they could, they could in fact, urinate in my ears that night, and I'd still be like, oh, my God, that was unbelievable. My favorite show ever. That good times, bad times encore. Oh, I shouldn't even put that out there. That's not going to happen. We're going to get a quality fish original encore. So then Pittsburgh, you know, probably the least talked about. Is anybody going to Pittsburgh? It said the place holds 12,000 people. Nutter Center, well, along with Dix, obviously for the seventh straight year, Dix is going to sell out. The Nutter Center, you know, sold out in a matter of hours, and the rest of these shows just farting along. I know Chicago's a big place. 12K in Pittsburgh, though. Come on, man. What are you people doing? Just middle of the week, and you're like, whatever, man. We're going to MSG. Fuck Pittsburgh. Kind of with you there. Their first trip to the Peterson Center. Peterson with two E's in there, no O's. I don't know what's up with that. What's the difference in those Petersons? So then the big Baker's Dozen, right? You know, I already did a couple of Baker's Dozen's videos. At some point, it's going to come down to blowjobs and burritos, as I think is what I came up with. The 28th, 29th, and 30th, those, those look like prime shows to me. And then the 4th, 5th, and 6th of August ending the thing. You know, early on, I don't know, maybe they'll still be, you know, I know, I know they're fish, and they realize, look, we're a big deal, we're pros, we know what the fuck we're doing, we can handle the Baker's Dozen. But those first couple nights, I don't know, could be some nerves. Repeats has been a big question since the announcement. Of course, I would think, of course, there's going to be repeats. I hope there's repeats. I, for one, am calling for repeats. Obviously, I'm not going to be there, not going to be there at all 13, but <clears throat> if you are going to be there at all 13, even you want repeats. You don't want them fumbling through a bunch of songs that they're just going to have to wing, you know. Okay, if you get a couple of Down With Diseases opening up set, maybe they ain't going to open up the set with it twice. If you get a couple of those, maybe a couple of Fagos dropped on your head. If you, uh, you know, Wolfman's, Bathtub Gin, a lot of your light, a lot of your usual suspects, hopefully. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure you'll get some rare bust-outs, of course. You know, they got to do something with 13 fucking nights. Get out of here with your Game Hinge shit, though. I, I saw that one suggestion. One night they're going to go play Game Hinge. I, I, wanna, I just want to throw those people off a bridge. Be like, no, they're not, all right? Stop it with the Game Hinge. I don't know. Maybe they will. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. That would be awesome. So that was it, man. Not a lot of dates. I just ran through that in a couple of minutes. And, uh, well, and then, and then you have dicks. But like I said, that's separate. We're covering dicks up. Labor Day, first, second, and third be amazing couch tour and i think i had a dream that they're not going to webcast another center that would be a shame my whole goal is just to flip one of those cameras off that's trace pissing in my ears i'm wiping it off my cheek and licking it i don't know man it's weird it's dating i'll be all fired up and that, that pretty i think we'll end it right there